the first part of our bullet journaling 101 is going to be about goal setting. So to start, I have already doodled out some ideas so we can work on them as we go. But my main areas of focus and goal setting, you can be can be seen here on my title page. So I have the start of my whole bullet journal is here. You can doodle up a page with a beautiful quote, a picture. You can simply write Sarah's bullet journal or whatever you'd like. But for me, for this purpose, I simply wrote out what you can find in this bullet journal. So goal setting is where we're gonna start. So I'll flip to my first goal setting page. My first goal setting page, like I said, is a table of contents of sorts. In this, we are going to work on overall goals, gratitude goals, books to read goals, grades in school, and physical activity. Those are some of the example pages that I'm gonna give you in this bullet journaling session on goals. The first one is going to be all about overall goals, so your 2020 goals. For me, I have a set of black markers that I like to use for this. I doodled out what I'm gonna do, and mine is a grid shape. It's four by four. So what I'm gonna do is start making that have a solid black line, emphasize the points, make sure it's not erasable, and then I'm gonna color it. When you bullet journal, there's many different ways that you can structure your journal. For my goals, I wanted all the overall goals on one page. So I divided it into four sections, self, school, work, and social. And then I put little headings here, as you can kind of see, I've started outlining here, of what those will be. And then for me, I always write my goals in in pencil because you can change them as you go throughout the year and you can add to those. So I write those in pencil. So once we get there, that's what I'll end up doing. However, I like the base of the page to be very permanent. So I use, as you can tell, I've switched out. I use um, these ink pens that are a variety of sizes. The tips of these pens vary. So this one, for instance, is a small tip. Well, this one is a large tip. You do not have to use these special pens, but it can be very helpful. I've outlined my entire page, so now what I'm doing is going back and erasing any of those pencil lines that might be there. This is just a personal thing. I like to really make sure that my page look, looks neat before I add any color to it. You just want to make sure that if you do erase your lines, your pencil lines, that you don't want to do it while your marker is still wet, as it'll drag it and leave marks on your page. You will also note that while I was doing this, I was shifting around my journal to get a good angle. I am left-handed, so I realized that I can drag my hand through writing when this happens. So I shift my page a lot more than probably a right-handed individual, but you can move it around as much as you want to get those angles and those doodles that you like. So this is my, our first page, our overall goals for the 2020 year. For me, I always like to doll it up with some beautiful colors. I think that adds a lot. But I also always like to start with a goal page because I think it's really important to figure out what I wanna do for the entire year and just to kind of think of where I'm at and where I want to be. As you can see, I added some color to my page once I had all the black finished and my pencil marks erased. I use the paper mate markers as I talked about in my first video and as you can see, I have all my colors laid out here. The more colors, the more fun in my mind. I really enjoy it. But 
you don't always have to use colors. You can do a black and white bullet journal. You could just do one in all pencil. It's whatever works best for you and suits you best. So for me to complete this page, I'm gonna take some time to reflect on what goals I have for this year. We're halfway through the year, so I already have some goals in mind for all of these things. And I'll take the time to write those down. And I'd love for you to do the same. Take the time to get creative and make your own overall goals for the year page, whether that looks similar to this or something else. Mm -hmm.